Sonic Boom 2014 has come and gone, celebrating all things Sonic, and it's appropriate that Sonic Boom would release a new trailer for, well, Sonic Boom. It won't be long now until the new take on the franchise arrives, but that's still plenty of time to take a closer look at the new trailer thanks to the old analysis machine. Of course, be sure to watch our previous analyses on Sonic Boom as we'll only be noting the new stuff here. With that said, let's get to it. The biggest and most obvious thing to note about this new trailer is how it shows off both Metal Sonic and Shadow. While we still don't know their exact roles, there are plenty of clues to how Sonic and the others will be dealing with them. First up is Shadow, where we get to see what looks like a boss battle against a mysterious hedgehog. Sonic and Tails are just wailing on him, which makes it difficult to say how the battle will actually work. All we can glean from this is that the fight takes place in a rocky, circular arena. The fight leads directly into the following cinematic, where Sonic kicks Shadow into some kind of portal. There's no indication as to what this portal could really be, but it could tie into our previous theory that time travel could be involved. Maybe Shadow is an ancient warrior from the time of Lyric, and the portals are his way to the present. Though that doesn't explain how that portal is just waiting there for Shadow to be kicked through. That's not the end of Shadow though. Later in the trailer we see him interacting with Sonic and Tails again. It's unclear what they're talking about, but it seems Shadow has his own goals as he just runs past the two this time. It's very likely that as the game goes on, Shadow will become an ally, and there's even evidence of this as Shadow can be seen just casually hanging out with Sonic's entire team. If we had to guess, Shadow might attack Sonic initially because he released Lyric and thinks the Blue Hedgehog is an ally of the Ancient Evil. Gradually, the two must team up in order to take down the bigger threat. We can't say for sure, of course, but the last we see of Shadow is during a rival race against Sonic in the 3DS version of Sonic Boom. We already know that Shattered Crystals takes place after Rise of Lyric, so it seems the two hedgehogs will likely settle into their friendly rivalry like the main games eventually. The same can't be said for Metal Sonic, who looks to stay a constant threat to Sonic. There seems to be several encounters with the doppelganger throughout the game. During Metal Sonic's first appearance in the trailer, he's chasing Sonic and Tails through a forested area. Even down to his introduction, it's vaguely reminiscent of past encounters with Metal. But we don't actually see how this fight goes. Instead, the scene shifts to a new area, and now Knuckles and Amy are there. This battle seems to have two phases. One where the camera faces Sonic, and Metal comes flying in from behind, complete with massive winds and a series of explosions, and another where Metal throws balls at Sonic. But rather than using them to homing attack toward Metal, Sonic instead spins into a ball lying on the track to send it at Metal. We can also see that Sonic is able to quick change lanes in order to avoid Metal Sonic's attacks. We still don't know when these confrontations will happen though. All we know is that Metal Sonic seems to be a constant presence in the game. During the cutscene where Sonic is about to grab the green Chaos Crystal, Metal flies in to stop him. By this point, all of the characters know Metal, but it doesn't look like he'll be gone after the events of Rise of Lyric. Once again, we can see that Metal Sonic will be one of the rival races in Shattered Crystals. There's nothing else new about this race, though. But that doesn't mean there isn't more to see in this new trailer. Several new areas could be seen, some of which seem to be hub worlds. One is in the middle of a lake that seems to be in the center of a valley. Several houses on sticks can be seen and there's little evidence of actual hazards, giving further proof that it's a new hub. There's another as well that's based around a dock. It's not the same body of water either as the surrounding area makes it look more like a canyon and the trees are now all pine. The buildings even feel like a town since one building looks to be a restaurant, complete with a fish skeleton sign next to the door. Beyond the hubs we also see a small snippet of a new platforming section for Amy. There's not much else to see but the next scene does show off a simple puzzle. Knuckles has to punch apart large blocks including the one that looks to be blocking a laser. Destroying it will likely allow the laser to hit the panel on the other side. This will probably activate some kind of platform that will allow Amy, who's partnered with Knuckles here, to cross the nearby rails. There's even a new boss battle shown, though the boss is actually the same worm that was shown off at the end of the Sonic Boom reveal trailer. Here we can see that Sonic and the others were somehow able to daze it. All of them grab it with their inner beams and will likely slam it into something else in order to really damage it. But the most interesting new gameplay scene comes toward the end of the trailer. Sonic and Amy can be seen piloting some kind of underwater vehicle, blowing up mines in one scene while trying to avoid robotic octopi in the next. This is the first we've seen anything of this gameplay style in the Wii U version, and we wonder if it will appear throughout the game in different circumstances. What we do know is that this sequence likely comes after the E3 demo level featuring Sonic and Amy. In that, they were running from a robot just like this. We can't quite place what that glowing yellow box in the background is though. It may be some kind of collectible or maybe something that will power up the vehicle's weapons. We're really not sure. 
The trailer ends by showing off the confrontations against Lyric in both the Wii U and 3DS versions. We still don't know if this battle is the final one in Rise of Lyric, but we're positive that the fight against him in Shattered Crystals is toward the beginning of the game. After all, every one of Sonic's friends is still captured in the background of this fight, and we know that he starts off alone in the game. Okay, we're almost done here, but there is one last scene that we want to highlight. In it, the team is riding on Tails' new plane, but they actually have one extra passenger. This is Cliff, who's described as being well-versed in the history of Lyric's people. Maybe he's actually joining the others in order to help them find out more about the new villain. Or it could be that they're helping Cliff find something that he's been looking for, since his profile on the Sega blog lists this trait as well. But what strikes us as the most odd is that everyone stands up while on the plane, including Tails. So does this mean he's not the pilot? There's still a lot of mystery surrounding the Sonic Boom games. It's a new take on Sonic that may or may not pay off, but it has enough elements that we're definitely curious. Of course, if we missed anything, be sure to let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at GameXplain. Thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned to GameXplain for more on Sonic Boom and other things gaming too.